This is a canister flush. This hose here is a little on the short side. It keeps wanting to pop out when the canister comes up. That's going to be one of my reasons for why I'm going to go ahead and do this entire replacement on this uh, silent fill valve. But as this water comes up, I've got a little leak right up in here. Uh, once this gets filled up, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. This is a uh, Kohler Class 5. And as you can see, I've got water just spitting up inside of here. This is leakage. My first thought was that it must be the uh, sill down there at the bottom of the canister, but that's not the case. I lifted up the uh, tank lid and this is what I've got here. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the water supply down here underneath the toilet. So I've got that off. I'm going to go ahead and remove this floater governor here. Just pops out like that. Put that off to the side. And now is what I'm going to do, now you can't remove this red cap. Uh, it's not intended to be removed. If you try to remove that, it's tempting. If, uh, this will just crack and break off. So that's not what you want to do. Is what you want to do is you want to get a hand down here on the uh, silent fill valve here and you want to just turn you want to push and give this about a quarter turn now i believe this little seal in here is what's causing the leak you can replace these but i'm sitting here looking at this i don't see any wear or any damage so i don't even know if it's really coming from here or not Instead of spending the money on a bunch of these, I, see, I think they sell these in packs of, of five. Instead of having these, replacing these often, I'm just gonna go ahead and replace the entire silent fill valve. It's, it's really simple and easy to do. And I only spent $15 on this piece here. And I think you're gonna spend probably about the same amount of money on a pack of five of these. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and replace the whole thing. That's my choice that I've decided to make. I'm gonna go ahead and detach the hose here. There's no point in keeping that on there, so I'm just gonna dis discard that. And the next thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and just lose all the water out of this tank. I'm just gonna keep that up and try to get as much water out as I can. That is all I can get out right now. Unfortunately, I still have about three inches deep worth of water. So I'm gonna to have to get a cup get this out as much as I can, and then just get a towel in here to mop up. Okay, so I removed all the water from the tank and I just kind of pat dried it with a towel. Reason being is because down here, I'm going to, let me see if I can get that in focus. I got to detach underneath the bottom of this uh, silent fill valve uh, to uh, remove it. Now, luckily for me, this is all by hand. Uh, I want to remind you, I got the uh, water valve off here. So a little bit of water came out, no big deal. And then there's the little nylon nut here. I'm gonna have to get some channel locks on there because that's probably too tight for me to get by hand. So I'm gonna put this phone down and uh, get some channel locks. Okay, so I loosened that with my channel locks and I'm just gonna go ahead and take this all the way off. I guess I could have put a cup or a bowl underneath this to kind of help catch some of the water, but I didn't do that there. I'm just going to push up on this. And then as you can see, this is loose. I'm just going to pull it out just like that. No big deal. That was pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and uh, discard this. Now this is the box that the new kit came in right here. This is a uh, Kohler. In here, I've got a new lock ring for the bottom. Here's the new unit. Here's the new hose. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this in place. Now, this has a nice seal. This is actually an improvement from the original manufacturer. So this is just going to, I'm just going to push up on this a little and I'm just going to slide this down in place like that. Pretty simple. 
Uh, I do need to put on uh, the hose attachment here, really. So let me pull this out. Now you see these little uh, grabbers right here? This goes up on the top and it's just gonna grab right into those little grooves right there. There you go, it just locks in place. Doesn't grab it by a whole lot, but just enough to kind of keep it in place. And I'm going to get back down underneath and put this lock ring on. Come on. There we go. Now you don't want to over tighten. I mean, it is nylon. It is plastic. But you want it snug enough uh, where this is not going to leak. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, fill hose here. I'm going to slip that in place. I'm going to push that in here. Just kind of shove it in there a little. So now I want to go ahead and attach the hose back to the bottom of this fill valve. Luckily for me, the type of attachment I have, I can just do that by hand. Now I'm going to turn the water on. There we go. Now, of course, you want to go ahead and clean up, uh, check for leaks down uh, below, make sure you don't have any leaks before you uh, put this thing back into service. Uh, but that is the gist of it. Uh, pretty simple, uh, not, not complicated, nothing scary about it at all. Hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you haven't given it a thumbs up yet, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, make a comment down below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them. Now, if you haven't seen my other Kohler toilet repair video, be sure to check for it. Uh, I'm gonna have the link at the end of this video. But I talk about the uh, distance of the uh, lever flush, how it's important to have a little bit of play. And I go ahead and I show you how to disassemble the canister so that you can get down to the uh, the seal there and I show you how to reattach. But this is the seal here, and I show you how to add the new seal to it and uh, how to adjust everything and get everything working just right so you don't have any leaks. And then I show you how to go ahead and uh, assemble the uh, canister back in place there. It's a good instruction video. Uh, it's important to have uh, the right amount of distance on that uh, chain and to have the right amount of slack. I explain why. Check it out. Uh, I go ahead and show you how to reattach everything and get the toilet working in proper order. If you haven't uh, subscribed yet, please be sure to subscribe to this channel. Uh, lots of good uh, instruction videos. I appreciate your support.